So, yeah, at, uh, at Glenorchy Revelers we have a, a leadership program called Rise Above the Rim. We've run this the last three or four years where we get 30, 40 kids from the club, uh, selected by the committee and coaches, kids that have leadership qualities, ones that we see a bit of leadership in, ones that need a bit of a helping hand to, to get to that level. Um, through the season we have a half a dozen events which centres around leadership, team building, bonding, that sort of thing. Um, drug and alcohol courses, mental health courses, lots of different things to try and get the most out of out of the kids and, and give them a few life lessons to, to head on with after basketball. Yeah, we've, um, we're organising an event um, shortly to, uh, to bring basketball uh, together. Uh, it's, uh, it's a shoot-a-thon event. Uh, so under the banner of Rise Above the Rim, we're putting together uh, yeah, a really awesome setup uh, and event. And basically we're here today to, um, to talk about that, um, bringing everybody in and um, yeah, getting most of it. So. I was going to say, where, the, the general idea, has, did this kind of just kick around at a, at a meeting or just over some, some drinks or just something that you've come up with, Simon or Aaron? So McDonald's have been our major sponsor of Glenorchy basketball for the past few years. McDonald's, Sandy Bay, Hobart and, uh, and Kingston, as well as the wider community as well. McDonald's do a lot for basketball in Tasmania. So they put it to us this year as part of the leadership group to give something back, do something for uh, McDonald's and Ronald McDonald House Charity. It started out as a small fundraiser, probably a small shoot-a-thon at, at Moona Stadium for the, the Revs participants and it's grown into something a, a lot bigger than that. We approached David at Swisher, asked him about using one of his Swisher facilities and that's when he told us about the, the big one, about the, the old K&D site and what the plans were there. And David's effectively handed over control of Swisher for 24 hours to, to us to, to run our, our shoot-a-thon out of that for a, a whole 24 hour period and running a couple of, um, couple of different competitions, a junior competition and a senior competition and every dollar raised from that shoot-a-thon will go to Ronald McDonald House Charity here in Hobart and Victoria. And how important it is, are those funds to, to that organisation and that, and that charity? They, 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 I'm sure that's going to bring smiles on faces. Yeah, definitely. Uh, at our first Rise Above the Rim session, we had Alice from McDonald's and also Chelsea from Ronald McDonald House Charity come along and, and have a chat to the kids as part of the program and explain where the money's going to go and, and how much money's needed for a meal, how much money's needed for a night's accommodation. Um, and basically, it's to help kids and families that, that aren't as lucky as us, where they have to pick up their lives and relocate to Hobart for, for medical treatment. So basically, give the kids an idea of, of where the money's going to go. Hopefully, give them a bit of a helping hand to raise even even more money um, and um, yeah <laughs> and I suppose how how big is this in terms for obviously the, the Glenorchy Basketball Association like this a massive project you're taking on but but certainly one that you'll look back upon as a club and be uh, an association really and be very proud of yeah, definitely. We're really, really looking forward to this. Um, we've got everybody together from the, the Hobart basketball community. It's, it's definitely a lot bigger than just Glenorchy and it's a lot bigger than Rebs and that's something that we really wanted to, to get out there. The message for our, our leadership program is rise above the rim. So rise above whatever is going on amongst the different clubs and everything like that and just hit it all force with, um, with every club. Every club in Tasmania are going to have, uh, in southern Tasmania, are going to have representatives on site and all the juniors from every club are going to be able to participate, raise their own money. So we are really, really excited about it. We're, we're throwing it out there that it's possibly going to be the biggest, the biggest fundraising event in Hobart basketball that at least I've seen anyway. And a good turnout here today, Aaron. Obviously all the kids from various clubs representing here for the uh, photo op and getting a chance to get some extra shots up while the school holidays are on. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, I am absolutely stoked with the turnout that we've had here today. Um, yeah, we've had two, three, four representatives from each club. Uh, there's about 30-odd kids here, uh, you know, just, just really getting into it and having a, an exciting time. We've had uh, BTAS represent, uh, representation here, the Chargers representation. So we've had every club covered as far as the South is concerned, uh, and we're really, really pleased with, with that. Um, but more so, the positive feedback that we've had in regards to um, the overall picture and what we're trying to achieve um, with the message behind uh, Rise Above the Rim uh, is what all the club presidents have come back and said uh, that, that that is what they, they're strongly behind it and they strongly believe in it. And um, yeah, it's really positive. Uh, 
way forward for us as far as the state's concerned. And of course, when this KD site does get up and, and, and going, there'll be further details, I assume, about the event and this 24 hour marathon? Yeah, keep your eye on Facebook. Every, all the events, um, all the information will be posted in, in dribs and drabs, little teasers here and there. Uh, so keep an eye on the Facebook page. It's uh, Rise Above the Rim 24 hour shootathon. So search for that and, and keep an eye out and, and all the information, all of our big name signings and and everything they'll, uh, they'll be slowly unveiled as we head towards our, our end of May event.